It's uh, slowing down 20 miles an hour. Stand by for decamp. Watch the bricks, watch the bricks. Tactical contact it. Tactical contact's been made after bricks have been thrown at us. Stand by. Mate, watch the corner. Mate, stop. If the other TPAT patrol can come to the offside when suitable. Stand by, stand by. Yes, people, welcome back to Crime Daily. A four-man gang has been locked up through a series of raids which saw them strike 19 times between March and July of 2022, making in total 580,000. The gang also hit two stores in one night and employed meticulous planning and, when required, ruthless violence. In one of the raids in Warrington, they rammed into a police car before hurling bricks at the two female, at the two female officers inside. For all of the raids, the method was the same. They started by stealing a transit van on the night near to the location of the target before attaching a tow bar to the builder's trap, which was then wrapped around with cash machines standing in the stores. The machines were then dragged out of the shop before the cassettes and cash was rifled. The gang would then flee the scene in one of three cars, two BMWs and a Golf R, which had been taken via a house burglary in Worsley and then abandoned in situ. The gang used a whiz or cutting tool to slice through the shutters and in the days before they carried out reconnaissance by buying stuff from the stores so they could know precisely where the cash machines were. But one of the raids in Warrington, Cheshire was the beginning of their downfall according to Detective Inspector Nick Henderson of Cheshire Constabulary Serious and Organised Crime Unit. He said, a pattern was recognised by us after the 15th of April when into the early hours, we were struck by this team at Anissa store on Longshore Street in Warrington. This was a nasty offence. Our response was almost immediate. Two female officers attended in their patrol car, just as the offenders had dragged out the ATM. The offenders then turned their attention towards our cops and rammed into them. They had a real good go, moving forward their transit van and backwards to ram into the patrol car. They then used bricks to throw at officers to shatter the window of their car. In that attack, they got away with 34 grand. This began our involvement and led to some amazing detective work by our local policing unit. This was a large amount of money to be stolen and a really violent offence. Our investigations had led to the finding of the cloned number plate of a Golf R that they had used as a getaway car. Detective found the cold plate Detectives found a clone plate in a local lane. Potentially it had come off the car, but we don't know. It gave us an idea of the travel pattern because we were able to put it into our AMPR cameras and trace where they have come from. Even though we know it was a fake clone plate, it was a matter of perseverance, checking hours of local footage, including CCTV, local shops, AMPR cameras and houses for CCTV. Footage of the Warrington raid shows the gang ram two officers with the transit van and then pull alongside in the Gulf and hurl bricks at the, at the patrol car. Footage shows how moments earlier they had pulled a cash machine from the store, but the painstaking retracting of where the Gulf had come from over several weeks paid off. It led officers to Oakland Road, Lowton, Wigan. This was the gang's stable, what the criminals thought was their safe location to keep their stolen cars. A lock-up garage in a row next to a housing unit. It was local authority owned, but there had not been an owner at the garage for over five years. Police did analysis and worked out that the team that had struck in Warrington had already hit shops and supermarkets elsewhere. A black BMW they had used was seen on CCTV and other offences. Detective Inspector Henderson said the MO was particular, using transit vans stolen on the day. Police then set up a covert operation to watch the garage where they stashed either the Golf or the BMWs. Our intention was to absolutely dismantle this OCG. Moving in when a member of the gang arrived at the lockup would not have given police the result they wanted to catch the gang red-handed committing a cash machine raid. 
but they had a breakthrough when one of the gang, Lee Leverbrow, turned up at the garage in his legitimate works van. The gang would check the getaway cars in the garage to make sure they had sufficient fuel as their crime spree took them into 12 different counties. In the cars, the gang carried jerry cans full of extra fuel as well as false number plates. Leverbrow was doing some kind of legitimate business as well as involved in construction. He could also make his own number plates. Two other members of the gang, Crimea Price and John Price, were filmed returning a stolen BMW to the garage and removing equipment from the boot. The undercover police operation and analysis of Leverbrow's phone data came to a head in the early hours of the 7th of July 2022. On that night, another member of the gang, Crimea Price, turned up at the garage in a tow truck and removed the BMW from the garage and placed it on the low loader. He took it to Doncaster where Arthur Gaskin resides at a traveller's site called Pony Paddocks and then they began a night of offending. Then we saw John Price, another of the offenders, move up from the Nottingham area. The gang were then followed as they moved south of the former mining village Moira in Derbyshire in a stolen BMW. Once they was in the vicinity, they tried to steal a transit van, but it broke down and they stole a second. But as they carried out the raid, the strap attached to the cash machine snapped twice and they abandoned the attack. As the gang left the shop's car park, police moved in on them. During a pursuit, which reached speeds of 90 miles an hour, the gang held a fire extinguisher and bricks at police. A stinger was used on the BMW and it was eventually boxed in by police vehicles. And the three members of the gang, Crimea Price, John Price and Arthur Gaskin, were dragged from it. Inside the BMW were tools used to break in transit vans, nine different registration plates in the boot and the footwells were full of bricks. Such was the mindset of the gang, even when they failed to get the cash at the Moira store, they had to steal something, so took a box of miniature heroes, which was also found in the car. Mad. After forcing the gang's car to stop, Henderson please said, search Lee Leverbrow's I have no in doubt St. Helen, if we would have known he was arrested in the Moira job, we they would, would have gone Crimea to another village the probably that group. night, but Leverbrow was a highly sophisticated was the brain criminal He's very good mechanically they went to the and with location, knowing what their role was. a very was. important part at his home. We found items used for making number plates and locksmith tools. During a raid in Huddersfield, they threatened a member of staff who, to their surprise, was in the store doing a nighttime stock check. They brandished the iron bar at her. In another raid, they mistakenly assumed that a woman driving by in the early hours was a police officer, so they rammed her car with a transit van as she passed by while they were changing the plates of a car in Shropshire. D.I. Henderson said it was a sophisticated way of doing crimes. The transit vans they stole on the night had to have a tow bar as they would put a huge builder's strap around it, then the machine. In the boot of the car would also be a wizard tool for cutting through the steel shutters. The gang caused an estimated half a million pounds worth of damage by wrecking the stores. The one where we eventually caught them was in a village on the border of Leicestershire and Derbyshire and was getting closed for a week afterwards, depriving the community of their way of getting cash, but also their groceries. One of the gang was happy to splash his ill-gotten gains. In search of Crimea Price's home, police found thousands of pounds worth of Versace and Louboutin shoes and jewellery, including a baby dummy in a gold clasp and a gold chain, which was seized, plus a hundred grand Land Rover Defender. At Liverpool Crown Court, Lee Leverbrow, 33, of St. Helens, Crimea Price, 32, of Newton Le Willows, Arthur Gaskin, 35, of No Fixed Address, and John Price, 28, of Newport Street, were all jailed for conspiracy to commit burglary. Leverbrow and Gaskin received seven years and six months in jail. Crimea Price was sentenced to eight years, and John Price was sentenced to six years. Mad story there, people. But anyway... Check me back up for more. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.